bring out the truth of the Bible and you compare it to the things that are going on today, it should make you grasp to it more and gravitate onto it more. And then to understand that this is your God, good night. What more has to be saved? How much more blood saved? How many more, how much more diseases, man? The Lord is trying to protect you. Give him a reason to protect you, man. And he gonna do his fatherly duty and pursue you and show you Exodus 15.3. the truth we gonna get into how Christianity the Christian church is nothing but hypocrites and false prophets they, they teach every weekend every Sunday they, they teach every Sunday to come to church to praise God hallelujah right bless Jesus and all that pray and everything will be all right Everything ain't all right. Right. There's a specific reason why everything ain't all right. That's right. There's a reason. We're going we're gonna to get into this right here. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Scripture says without faith, it is impossible to please him. Christians always talk about faith. What is faith? Faith without works is dead. We first need works in order to ha in order to have our faith enacted. That's right. We don't have if we don't have works, crap will come to us. For he that cometh to God must believe that it, he is. One more time. Sorry. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Christians believe that they that that they Christians believe in God or they think they believe in God, but they have no faith and they have no works to come with it. Right. And that he is rewarded of them that diligently seek him. They always saying that if we seek God, we're gonna we're gonna if we seek God diligently, we're gonna we're gonna be rewarded. But they don't have no works. Because the scripture just said, faith without works is dead. If they don't have any works, there is no faith. Why, why is, why, right now, they're streaming, they're streaming churches all over the, the country. Why did Joe Osteen come out and say that we, uh, that we're canceling church? Only reason why they cancel churches is because they have no faith. Zero faith. They never have faith. The reason why they never have faith is they never believed in them. Read, read that again. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. They never came to God. Never. They read the scripture, they read one or two verses, and then they pass the collection plate around. Right. <laughs> they never believe in him. This there's only one thing that they do believe in, and that's that's collecting of the tithes. That's the only thing they believe the offering. in. The offering. That's it. Only thing they want is is your grandmother's money. There's two things. Look, there's two things. They want your grandmother's money, and they want your wife. And, and, and they, want, they want three things. They want the kids too. They're deviants. They never they never take anything from the Bible and actually apply it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Grab a flyer. Keep going. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You want to get some more of that? Hebrews 11 and 1. They don't, there's, a, there's a specific way to actually diligently seek him. Christians don't know that. They actually they read the Bible. They speak up here. They sit up here and read the Bible every weekend. But they don't know anything that goes into it. I wonder why. Okay. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. They hope for a cure. They, they, I think they have faith in that. The evidence of things not seen. They believe that, that, that they're not going to get touched. That's what they believe. They hope that there's going to be a cure. 
They believe that they're not going to get touched. But if they believe that, why are they closing the churches down? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to be at the Passover. That's right. That's right. And I'm touching every brother in brotherly love, right. just like this. That's right. right. Yeah, I'm right. Just like this. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Every test I get, drop, drop me down to 17. Or 17. Even so, faith. If it, if it has not worked, it's dead. No, not that far. Said it right there. Faith without works is dead. If we have no faith. If we have no works, we have no faith. But the Christian church doesn't even tell you what the, what the works there are. If you ask, go up to any Christian and ask them what is what is sin, they won't they won't even know what that is. What is a good work? They'll just say, "Hey, I'm I'm being a good person." They can't even tangibly explain what a what a good deed is. The, the the Bible tells you exactly what a good deed is. A good deed is stop smoking cigarettes. Is obeying God. The count. James chapter 2 verse 17 Even so faith If it has not works It's dead Being alone Faith without works is dead The works that makes faith Actually livable Is actually the, the commandments is, is obeying God That's it Just obey God If you want to know what God is actually saying Because God does not talk to you for all you Christians out there that says God tell, tell, talks to me, he knows my heart, he teaches me, yeah, I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him, you do not have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. You do not have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. You talking to yourself, and yourself is, is fulfilling the lust of whatever it is you want to do. Drop me down to 19. Verse 19, thou believest that there is one God Thou doest well. If you believe that there is one God, the one true living God of this Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you will do well. The divine God, thou do eh, eh. also believe in trouble. Read that from the top, one more time. Verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devil. The devil God that was also believe in trouble. If you believe that the one true God, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you will believe in trouble. You're going to believe in trouble. Why? Because you know the power of the one true living God. You'll know that this coronavirus, that any of these plagues that, that plague the earth, comes from him and only him that's right if you knew that you would trouble and you would obey everything he says verse 20 but what thou know O vain man but you will know O vain man you know nothing you are you are nothing simple man if you don't know that faith without works is dead said it one more time faith without works is dead the works is obeying god you do not obey God, you die. Simple. Simple as that. Verse 21. Was not Abraham our father justified by works? If you don't know, Abraham, our forefather, had a son. He was promised a son, and he didn't get, get this son until his old age. Once he got this son, he saw him grow up big and strong. Most High told him he needed to kill his son. Abraham has faith in God. He obeyed his orders. He took his son up, and he was about to slay his son, his only son. Why? Because God told him to do that. At the last second, the Most High sent an angel stopped his hand. Abraham had faith through his works. His works was obeying God to, 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 to slay his son. He didn't do it. But God blessed him. 